Good morning. Welcome to Live for Five with Pastor Ben. I'm glad you're joining us today. Uh, it is a great day to be in God's Word, right? Um, you may have noticed this fuzzy little thing here. It's actually a microphone. Um, because sound is everything when it comes to some kind of a, a broadcast or, you know, the service on Sunday. The sound is, the video is great. It's great to have video, but the sound is more important. Uh, Romans ten seventeen, faith comes by hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. So uh, if you can see me or not, we can still figure something out. But if you can't hear the word, um, the comfort is gone. So we've, we've invested in, in microphones over, over the last two years and, and they've been helpful. Um, because being able to hear the word is everything. Um, but let us make our beginning this morning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it from the rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. Good morning, Terry and Diana, John and Jan. I'm glad you guys are with us today. Um, I, I've also said this before. I, I encourage privacy settings on Facebook uh, for you. Uh, and so when you show up on a live video like this, sometimes if I don't say your name and say hi to you, is because uh, you, pr you probably have a security setting that doesn't allow me to see that you're on. So <clears throat> over in the corner, I can see the names of people who are watching. It says who is watching live on the video. And so I say hi to people when I see they're on. Um, I'd, I'd love to say hi to you and know that and have other people know that you're with us as well. Um, but let us, um, let us dig in. Our verse of the day in the YouVersion Bible app is Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. I mean, this, this, is, this is a heavy hitter text. This is a huge, huge text. It shows up for uh, Reformation Sunday. Uh, so much rides on this text. And it's, it's supported by other places in Scripture, but this is a very, very important text for us to know. It's part of what is called the Romans Road, a pathway of uh, memori memorized texts for um, just learning Scripture and memorizing Scripture. But this one is huge. And, and you've probably heard me say too many times um, that someone has to die for sin. Someone always has to die for sin. And I can tell it makes people a little uncomfortable. Where, where are you getting that from? This is, a, this is a good one. This is a good place where this is supported. I remember when I was a DCE, a youth director, my, my pastor I was serving under, he always had a phrase he went to with this one. He said, the paycheck for sin is death. And I was always curious as to where he got that from. And then I, I learned Greek. And I learned where he got this from. This term for wages, the term is payment. And this, this payment that is used here, the way that it's used in, in the Greek language is, is ration money paid to a soldier. So it's used for wages paid of other kinds of workers as well, but there's definitely it evokes this picture of a reward for military service. And the, the more general concepts of financial payment do apply, but this belongs to the illustration of, of an army and a soldier. So this is then a soldier belonging to the army of sin. A soldier or a slave and in this army of sin, it ends in death. And so actually engaging in this work of sin also pays its due wage. Death. Okay, so can you kind of see where, where 
I and this other pastor get this idea that this is a paycheck that someone always has to die for sin. Humanity stands completely responsible for both being and doing what deserves its condemnation. God is not the cause of sin, nor is he the cause of the punishment and the damnation. The only cause of man's damnation is sin. And so you've maybe also seen me put up two columns in Bible study class. Man's condemnation is 100% his own doing and sin. And salvation is what comes next in this text. Thankfully, the last half of Romans chapter 6, verse 23 provides the rest of the story. Salvation is 100% God's doing. So you have this parallel here. You have sin, death, condemnation, free uh, life in God, this gift. And, and this is supported by Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, for it's by grace you've been saved through faith. This is not of your own doing. It is a gift. This gift idea is huge. What you earn is death. The gift you get is free. It's a gift. And, and what is that gift? Eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Oh, this is a great example of law and gospel. But we're not left in the law. We're, we're released and we get Jesus. It's huge. It, if you want to know how do I talk to people about, about what Jesus has done, this is a great text for um, our relationship with God in a nutshell. You get both. You get the law. You get the gospel. You see the paycheck, the soldier's wage in this slaved army is death. <laughs> but God has a gift, a free gift. And it's for you. It's for me. It's for everyone. How can we not tell people about it? It's, it's that joyful. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we don't deserve this gift. It, it is pure grace that you give it to us. And it's mercy that you show to us that we don't end up receiving the paycheck for our sin. Lord, this is wonderful news. We joyfully cling to this and it brings about peace and joy. Lord, knowing how how important it is to be released from these wages of sin. Invigorate us. Excite us for this work. To tenderly enter other people's lives to share this wonderful news of this free gift that you've given. We pray all this in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a blessed day in Christ, knowing what our job is to do. Have a wonderful weekend. I look forward to seeing you live here and live in the sanctuary on Sunday for the baptism of our Lord. And uh, we'll see you soon.